I've never been this faded before. I drink and smoke all by myself. I'm antisocial, nigga. Ooh, I never had a hoe that fucked me before. Like this little hoe, I think I keep up to myself, my nigga. Ooh, my nigga call me with the drill for the low. I need to go and get that bread and count that bow, my nigga. Ooh, I know you never heard this shit here before. It's all yeah. me, baby. It's that T the fucking man, oh, my nigga. T the fucking man. T the fucking man podcast. What's happening? What's good with you? What's good with you, man? Um, I'm doing this show today, man. I want to come through and get some shit off my chest. I'm gonna talk about some hot topics. I ain't, I ain't got no opening rant, you know what I mean? I just want to come through. I'm a rant, but I ain't got no opening rant. This whole goddamn episode might be a rant. Um, we coming into 2024 well we, we we in 2024 but coming into 2024 i told y'all about idolizing these fucking celebrities man i'm i'm gonna be doing a lot of talking on that this episode man um first things first i want to say uh rest in peace to big jook for those that's the, for those that don't know you know a couple weeks ago uh yo got his big brother i don't know what he had going in the street but uh seemed like he caught up with him well, whatever the fuck he had going on, he caught up with him or whatever. Um, rest in peace to Big Jook. I don't know. I don't know Young Dolph. I don't know Jook. I don't know uh, Yo Gotti. Just like a lot of y'all, I'm, I'm, about, to, I'm about to get on y'all ass in a second. Because uh, none of us know these people. None of us know these people. And the shit that I seen from y'all on that internet, when, when that man died, was disgusting. Man, listen, I fucked with Dolph music too. I fucked with Dolph music. I fuck with Gotti music. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't, I don't, uh, I didn't know Young Dolph. I never met Young Dolph. I don't know uh, Yo Gotti. Never met Yo Gotti. I don't know Juk. Never met Juk. So what I look like speaking on they street activity. Like I like I know somebody or, or 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 like I got a dog in the fight. You niggas is disgusting. And when it come to this situation right here, it, it, it was a lot of you quote unquote street niggas. Y'all niggas so nasty. Yeah, man. Rest in peace to Dolph, man. Uh nigga got his lick back, man. Nigga, man, y'all was talking bad about this man Juke like y'all knew him, son. And see, I, when, when I speak on these celebrities, uh, y'all idolizing celebrities and shit like that, I just be speaking on this shit to show y'all, uh, first of all, the difference between you and the difference in me and you, you know what I'm saying? But I just be wanting to show y'all how, you know, whoever the fuck is controlling all this shit, the puppet master behind all this shit, man, they got y'all. They got a nigga, man. They be having me sometimes, too. Like sometimes I be partaking in the bullshit, man. Like I never get one time I had, I was sitting there going back and forth with my daughter about uh, Taylor Swift and Beyonce. They had me for a second. I right? <laughs> like, what the fuck you mean Taylor Swift better than Beyonce, girl? What the hell you talking about? The people over there got you smoking cigarettes or something. What? But they be having me too sometimes. Yeah, man, sipping on some good old orange juice. Yeah, but yeah, they be having me too sometimes. I want to stay focused. I want to go and get through this show. Um, They be having me sometimes too, right? But they be having y'all all the time. I watched you people speak on Big Jook as if y'all knew him. As First of all, we don't know why Big Jook did. We don't know what now. Now, allegedly, they saying this get back because uh, he put a hit out on Dolph. We don't know that to be true or not. Some people were saying that, you know, he paid, he he told some niggas that he was going to pay them a hundred thousand if they got uh, Dolph, but he only gave them 40. He never gave them the other 60. Some people say it was behind that. Either way it go, whatever the fuck it was behind. I just want y'all to know for all those people. That was and 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 of course a lot of people on you know the small scale you know nigga ain't really see what they were saying but it, some of y'all celebrities y'all goofy ass bloggers oh let me say this about the bloggers this is why I tell y'all all the time don't confuse me as one of these hoe ass blogging niggas 
it was this one blogger I ain't gonna say his name I don't mean no disrespect or nothing but I had to stop I, I had to unsubscribe from his channel because of, I, you know I, I look at people and I look at the authenticity in people and I be like oh man this person might be alright and it's you know sometimes people do some sucker shit and you just be like ah. Oh. But it was this one nigga, man. He, yeah, yeah, man. That nigga's dead. I was like, what? What? Why are you talking like this, man? Like, like you knew this man. <laughs> now the nigga was, you know, the nigga was going around stumping. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was going to Memphis, and when the shit happened to Dolph, he was going to Memphis, and you know, uh, uh, fucking with certain people and getting cool with certain people, and you know, uh, uh, just just breaking the whole situation down, right? And, and I was like, damn, this dude might be all right, though, because you can go check and see who I'm subscribed to. I don't fuck with these blogs. I was like, but I was like, dude might be all right. And then, you know, the shit happened with Jook, and that now you talking like you knew Dolph. Like, you was in the car with Dolph. Like, you was beefing with niggas with Dolph and shit. Man, y'all got to get up off that shit. That shit goofy. That man got a family. That man still got people that love him. You know what I mean? And for a lot of y'all, let me say this too. Um, like I said, this gonna be much. This, this episode gonna be pretty much a rant the whole time. A lot of you motherfuckers, I be seeing y'all sitting back, and I always say that there's a reason why black people don't say nothing when black people kill black people, but uh, when a white boy kill a black person, they can't believe Jesus did them like that. A lot of y'all, oh my God, we need to chill. We need to stop with the violence and all that shit. And then as soon as a nigga die, y'all get on the internet and do shit like that. Like I said, that th them people still got loved ones. It might be somebody in this nigga family that don't even want to go to the streets and, and, and be on no gangster shit like that, right? This how y'all bring the monster and the savage out of motherfucker. It might be a family member or somebody that love that nigga man that don't even get down with the streets. He ain't even really be on that shit. But he got to get on the internet every day. He got to get on Twitter. He got to get on Instagram. He got to get on Facebook. And he got to watch y'all talk about his uncle or his brother or his big cousin. And you know what I mean? And that shit sent a nigga through the roof. Next thing you know, he out there in the streets too because, you know. And that's why I be telling y'all I don't do the fans. I don't like fans. See, fans is what be getting these people fucked up. Yeah, so some of y'all got fans, the bloggers and niggas that be talking shit on the internet. Some of y'all got fans too, and they be having y'all out here doing goofball ass shit. See, y'all can never get me to come in here and do some goofball ass shit. Like I said, I fucked with Dolph and his music. Dolph was one of the artists in the game that inspired me. But I'm not finna come on here and say, oh man, yeah, man. They finally got that nigga big joke, man. Fuck that nigga, man. Got my nigga Dolph killed, man. What, what, that, nigga, I don't know them like that. That's how goofy y'all be looking. I'm talking about nigga all up and down the timeline. I tried to escape it on Instagram. Went to Twitter. You know how they getting down on Twitter. You, you know how they giving it up on Twitter. Went to YouTube. Motherfuckers making videos, hour videos and shit. Just, just, just talking about this man like y'all know what him and Young Dolph situation was y'all gotta stop idolizing these motherfucking celebrities man these people don't give a fuck about y'all man yeah most of this shit I'm gonna be talking about today is gonna be talking about uh you niggas idolizing these motherfucking celebrities man it's sickening I'm gonna get into some hot topics man slow just ride with me ride with me ride with me but the shit, the shit was disgusting, man. You blogging ass niggas, y'all goofy as fuck, man. Y'all goofy as fuck, man. These celebrities don't even know y'all alive for real. <laughs> when y'all be seeing these niggas talking about, yeah, man, I got a million streams on my song and all that shit. Even them fucking numbers is fake. Trust me. <laughs> These people don't even know y'all alive, man. And y'all be out here fighting their battles for them in the street. Some of y'all be dying. Some of y'all be getting real fight. I seen a motherfucking... I seen an article on Instagram. And it was this dude that's in jail right now. 
probably finna face a life sentence because he shot his motherfucking friend because they was talking about LeBron James and Michael Jordan. He shot his motherfucking friend because of that. Are y'all, are y'all really, are y'all really, are y'all really uh brainwashed like that when it comes to these celebrities and shit? You know what I'm fuck it. Let, let me let me let me let me go and say this right now. Cause I, uh the nigga Jay-Z at the Grammys and shit. I seen people talk about Jay-Z at the Grammys and oh yeah, man. Yeah, he went up there and spoke for all of us. He ain't speaking for no nigga like me. Yeah. Ain't no nigga like Jay-Z speaking for no nigga like me down here in that goddamn south, down here in that Louisiana. Nigga ain't speaking for no nigga like me. Ain't no way in hell no nigga like that can speak for no nigga like me. Ain't no way in hell you gonna see me say in front of the world, fuck a nigga and his house. And then I'm gonna go be at his motherfucking house because they're having a barbecue. Ain't no way. <laughs> hey, can't no nigga like that speak for no nigga like me. Y'all really out here idolizing these motherfuckers, man. Y'all really out here putting these motherfuckers on pedestals. Y'all trying to make them leaders. Y'all trying to say that these the motherfuckers that's speaking for us. This motherfucker don't speak for me. Because I'm looking at this nigga. I didn't see the speech. Not interested in seeing the speech neither. I just saw people talking about because I really don't give a fuck about the Grammys. I don't know when the Grammys come on. I don't I don't I don't really be knowing shit about the Grammys. I just be seeing y'all when y'all be talking about that shit. So nigga, I seen people talk about Jay Z and shit, and I was like, okay, what Jay, what Jaden did? Excuse me, what Jaden did now? That's that's how I'm looking. I'm like, damn, what Jay? And I go look, and it say Jay Z speech at the Grammys. The first thing came to my mind, what the fuck this nigga doing at the Grammys? <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, I thought we, I thought it was fuck these niggas. Yo, what the fuck you doing at the Grammys, nigga? That would man, that's the last person I would have thought. Was Beyonce there too? I think somebody said Beyonce was there too. Man, what y'all doing there? See, that's are y'all really buying what these people be saying? Do y'all really think that these are the people that's going to step up and look out for us little old bitty motherfuckers down here? For real? Because you want to know what that shit is with Jay? You want to know what that is? Jay-Z and the Grammys and Beyonce and the Grammys and all these other motherfuckers that be saying fuck the Grammys, but then they be at the Grammys. You know what that is? The same thing they always control us with. Divide and conquer. They divide shit up and then conquer shit by owning and compromising both sides. Jay-Z is compromised, my nigga. Because guess what? Rather Jay-Z is talking about the Grammys good or rather Jay-Z talking about the Grammys bad. Guess what? You still talking about the Grammys. Jay-Z worked for the fucking Grammys, my nigga. Jay-Z worked for the system. Whatever this system is, Jay-Z, Beyonce, all these motherfuckers work for this system. And then you got motherfuckers like Kanye West. Who's trying to get out the system? See, that's why they on his head. So, man, Kanye West always talked some some crazy ass shit. But now that he wants out the system, that's why they own that nigga like that. <laughs> what was Jay Z doing at the Grammys? If it's fuck the Grammys, Jay Z is compromised, my nigga. Jay Z was at the Grammys because Jay Z talking shit about the Grammys is a part of their marketing strategy, nigga. Talk shit. Rather it's good or bad, motherfuckers still talking. Why y'all listening to these celebrity motherfuckers? Hmm? Why y'all listening to these celebrity motherfuckers? I'm sick of it. Okay? I am sick of it. I saw a vid. Oh my God! Speaking of a celebrity, the 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 biggest celebrity of all time, right? We finna talk about the biggest celebrity of all time. I saw a I saw a video. Now, once again, me not knowing what was going on behind the scenes, I saw a bunch of videos of people going off on Lil Nas X like a week or two ago. I saw people. I saw Lil Nas X in the headlines again. And I was like, 
I was like, what the fuck? What this nigga? What this nigga doing in the headlines, right? And uh I seen that he did like a uh <laughs> Every time I talk about this little nigga, I just laugh, bro. Because he got y'all too. Um He did like a music video and they and he was portraying Jesus. He was he, you know, he was dressed like Jesus and shit, making fun of Jesus just like everybody else do. Right? But uh I saw everybody going off, man. Um the stream, the little streaming nigga, uh Kai, the little nigga Kai, he went off on him or whatever i saw a lot of people going off but it's one video that made me write this down on this list right <laughs> shreveport louisiana's own hurricane chris i seen a i seen a video of hurricane chris on twitter and hurricane i think say cheese posted the shit and hurricane was talking about sliding for jesus <laughs> Now listen, I don't mean no disrespect. I'm not. I'm not laughing. Um, well, yeah, I am laughing at y'all. But look, man, when I saw, when I saw, cause they put, you know how they, you know how they say, uh, such and such has a message for such and such, and then they put it in the motherfucking quotations, uh, sliding for Jesus. That's that's what I saw, man. That shit was funny as fuck, boy. That shit was funny as fuck, boy. <laughs> slide chris you sliding for jesus now listen man once again i'm not here to disres disrespect nobody's um religion if you take it that way oh well but i'm not here to disrespect nobody but listen black people you're gonna believe what you want to believe right but could you at least open your mind to the idea of Jesus being a control mechanism. I hope I said that right. Can can we have an open mind and at least have a discussion about Jesus being a goddamn tool in a toolbox? The white man's toolbox, okay? Chris, Chris, Chris. You, you, you're gonna be sliding for nothing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just keeping it real with you now. I'm just keeping it real. And 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 for the record, to put this disclaimer out there, I'm just telling y'all what I think. I don't know shit. I don't know a goddamn thing. To keep it real with you, I don't think none of us know shit. I think we know whatever the fuck they, whatever information they put out there for us to gather together and come up with our own motherfucking theories and shit. That's what we know. But 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 the real shit, we don't know shit. All right. The Romans got all the real inf all the real information. We don't know shit. Okay. But look, but listen, listen, Hurricane. Um. Yeah, man, take that shit to the studio, man. Don't, 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 uh, don't be out here trying to slide behind some shit. You gonna go to jail, nigga. You gonna go to jail for nothing. What you gonna see, little Nas out, little Nas X out in public somewhere? You gonna steal on him? You gonna punch him in his shit? You gonna get on that Cedar Grove shit and steal on that nigga in public? And then when they when they ask you, well, sir, why did you do that? Oh yeah, man, he was disrespecting Jesus. Then you going to jail like a motherfucker. You think they gonna be like, oh my god, that is such a that that oh my god we truly appreciate you that, that was such a valid reason to go upside that homosexual's head thank you very much we we appreciate you so much you know what uh, no nah, fuck all that let him walk out let him let him go yeah we're gonna bring him through the front let him out the back you think that's what's gonna happen let, let me tell you something sir those fellow christians are gonna lock your ass up and they're gonna demand some bail money okay <laughs> they they gonna lock your ass up, man. I seen Chris talking about sliding for G. Man, let me let me ask y'all this: How the fuck do y'all even let? Now a lot I be seeing a lot. Once again, y'all be prioritizing these celebrities and shit, nigga. How the fuck you even let a nigga like Lil Nas X bother you? If you're a heterosexual black man standing on all ten out this motherfucker. You got morals, you got principles, you got boundaries out this motherfucker. 
You got lines out this motherfucker. It's just certain shit that you just ain't going to pay no attention to. It's just certain shit that can't even you, you don't even think about. Right. Like prime example, when niggas be saying the whole pause shit. Oh, man, pause. No homo. All that shit. Now, I see it sometime. You know, sometimes shit be a little too crazy. You know what I mean? You know, you got to throw a little no homo pause in there. But you, you motherfuckers that be on that pause and no homo shit all day. How you even thinking like that all day? <laughs> in my mind, this just the way I think. I don't mean no disrespect. But for a motherfucker that go around say pause and no homo all day. You think about every, everything that you hear, you hear gay shit all day. <laughs> no, that's why you, you and I'm me. I don't want to be around no nigga on the uh, no homo and pause shit all day, nigga. You think about dick and gay shit all day. Everything you hear, you make it some gay shit. I don't want to be around no nigga like you, right? But yeah, I be I be looking at nigga like my nigga Hurricane. Like, how, how the fuck you bother by Lil Nas X for real? What like for real? What you gonna do? Fight him when you see him? You you gonna run up on a nigga with with whoa? Uh, what I, it was a bitch sucking my dick one time, and she had them long nails. What she called them? Um, uh, that hoe was fire on the head too. Um, uh, you, <laughs> you gonna? I'm for real now, Chris. You gonna run up on a nigga? They got that. You gonna run up on a nigga that's like six four, with some fucking bundles in his head and some lipstick and some makeup on and some fucking gripper fingernails. You gonna run up on this nigga and fight this nigga, man? This nigga's insane, man. This nigga's insane. I don't nigga. I don't even go around. I don't even go around looking for no smoke with people like with them people. Them people out they mind. Hell yeah, that nigga dressed up. Hell yeah, that nigga doing that. You looking at? I'm I'm gonna get off this, but <laughs> in a second. But like real shit, y'all looking at this nigga, and y'all always saying that this nigga tripping. This nigga out his mind. He he crossing the line. He uh 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 he he stepping over boundaries. This nigga's in uh yeah. This nigga's insane. <laughs> no, any I ain't gonna say that. But the nigga insane. Now moral of this whole thing about me talking about Lil Nas X. Why y'all even? Why y'all even paying attention to these people? <laughs> I know some of y'all gonna say, well, the media's promoting it and woo woo woo. Yeah, but but you know what I do? I I at least a hundred times a day, at least a hundred times a day, I hit not interested on shit. Yep, not interested. It's 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 certain shit that come across my timeline too. Oh, not interested. Yeah, man, I just want to say that about the little Nas X shit, man. Some of y'all ain't even supposed to be paying cuz no attention. I'm going to keep it real. So, hey, listen. Some of y'all paying the nigga attention because y'all really curious. You really you really out here like that dude I was talking about a few episodes ago. You really out here on that curious George shit. That's why you pay attention. Man, nigga don't be paying attention to what Lil Nas is doing. Y'all niggas out here talking about sliding for Jesus. <laughs> Come on, man. Get up off it, man. Get up off it, man. Hey, check this out, man. Uh, I'm finally to the point. I'm finally to the point where I know I was like, uh, at first I was like, yeah, man, I'm fucking with Cub, man. I'm fucking with Cub and what he got going on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with the message and all that shit, right? But um, sometimes the message can turn into some other shit, right? So with that being said, I changed my mind, bro. I'm tired of D1. Yeah, bring your bring your ass up to the stage, D1. <laughs> you know it's a Louisiana thing, man. You know we got respect for you and love for you out here, man. But listen, bro, I I, I seen uh, I think the nigga was sitting down with the order dialogue, and I seen like a clip of this nigga D1 saying that if you're a trap rapper that raps about certain stuff, you can't be a legend in the rap game. 
I'm, I'm gonna take a sip of this orange juice while y'all while y'all uh think about that. If you're a trap rapper that rap about the trap selling drugs and uh, degenerate behavior in the black community and you know all that shit, you can't be a legend if you ask D1. You can't be a legend in the rap game if that's what you want. Yeah, I'm tired of D1. Because at this point, like I said at first, when he was talking about Jim Jones and all that shit, I was rocking with it. I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I was rocking with it. But then he started saying shit like this, and I'm like, man, what the fuck is D1 talking about, dog? You, you mean to tell me Jay Z ain't no, because Jay Z a trap rapper? See, some, some of you motherfuckers, who the fuck is that out there making that noise? Some, some, of you motherf- some of you motherfuckers just be saying shit. Like a little, a little, a little clout might come your way. Or, you know what I'm saying? A little attention might come your way. And y'all get to saying all type of shit. Because, nigga, you mean to tell me. So you saying Jay Z not, uh, not a legend? Because Jay Z, Jay Z came up rapping about dope and shit. It might not be the same, uh, it might not be the same sound. Because maybe maybe that's what he's trying to say. Like the, the whole trap sound, the southern trap sound. Maybe he's trying to make it to that. Because when I see Jay-Z, when I see Ice Cube, when I see uh shit, Snoop Dogg, all these niggas trap rappers. See a lot, man. A lot of you motherfuckers, even even some of you motherfuckers that be from the south, y'all really be having a problem with yourself in the south. Cause when that nigga said trap rapper, only thing I heard was eight oh eight trap beats or whatever. When he said that, man, Jay, maybe I'm wrong, but I look at Jay Z like a trap rapper. He rap about dope. Jay Z ain't no different than Jeezy. Now you you know some would say that one rap better than the other one. You know what I'm saying, yeah. But he ain't no different from Jeezy. Uh, uh, Jay Z ain't no different from Gucci. When, when, you know, my favorite rapper, Scarface. He a trap rapper. They, they all rap. It's, it's the same shit. Now, 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 the, now the lyrics and shit might be a little bit more dumbed down today, because it's it's it's, it's music production driven, and, and you know, everybody really listening to the beats and shit. But they all pretty much talking about the same shit. Everybody struggling, going through it, trying to get a come up. This dope right here, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm I'm, I'm sick of D1. Going back to what I was with with the whole uh, uh, the whole the whole uh, punchline of this episode. Man, quit listening to these niggas. I ain't saying y'all gotta listen to me. I don't know shit, but. Stop listening to these niggas. This nigga said if you're a trap rapper that talk about this, 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 you can't be a legend, nigga. And that's 90% of hip hop. Nick, nigga, when I sit back and think about it, think about all the rappers that you came up on, that you grew up on. They all was talking about the same shit. Selling dope, getting money, fucking bitches, who the flies. It's all the same shit. The sound just changed, but it's all the same shit. Yeah, man, I'm sick of D1, man. Quit listening to these rap niggas. <laughs> quit, hey, quit listening to these rap niggas, man. And this, oh, let me say another thing, too. Since we talking about D1 and all these other motherfuckers out here. This ain't just D1, but but I seen something that he said in an interview. I think it was the same motherfucking interview, but it was a different clip. And he was talking about how uh he had a music executive. Oh, I'm so tired of these niggas doing this. He had a music executive uh shoot a shot at him. The music executive shot his shot at D1. Years ago, many years ago, right? He said the nigga shot a shot at him, you know, but he didn't go for it. Maybe it's me, but I'm seeing one thing in common with all these niggas that's coming out and slick telling. 
Cause you ain't you ain't telling for real. You slick telling. Say the na- say the name. Who was it? Say their name. Maybe it's just me, but I noticed that all you motherfuckers don't never say a name. And y'all always wait years later, decade later, to bring this shit up. And you still never say a motherfucker name. For now on. For now on. When you motherfuckers do that. Now, nobody got to listen to me. I don't know shit. I ain't got the answers to nothing. But for me, for now on, when I hear one of you niggas do that shit, I'm going to assume that you went. The next, I don't give a fuck who it is. The next mother, y'all seen that shit that the Christian Key nigga, um, the nigga that played in the motherfucking movies and shit with Tyler Perry, he come out. Now, he didn't say the nigga name, but, but come on now. A rich black billionaire, homosexual, trying to get at this nigga. And you in all his movies and shit. Come on, nigga, you talking about Tyler Perry. For now on, when you niggas come out and you say that some executive or somebody offered you um, sexual favors in return for success and all that shit. For now on, if you don't say a name and it's more than a year old. You was back there fucking nigga For now I don't give a fuck who it is I don't care who I don't care who it is Or what the situation is Male, female, whatever If you come out And you say that somebody was trying to shoot at you For some You know uh, some, some, Some fucking was offered For some success And you wait 10 years later You was fucking You was gone that's why you ain't see me out here uh, caping for Cassie. No, she was going. She was going, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm tired of niggas doing that shit. I'm tired of these weak ass niggas. Yeah, man, you know, so many years ago, um, 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 such and such, uh, long nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dick them down, long nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, one of the executives over at Motown. Yeah, Mr. Dick them down, long nuts. Yeah, man. He offered me a record deal, man. But uh, yeah, man. He niggas talking about, man. I had to go in the back, man, and bust it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. I just couldn't do that, man. Yeah, I just couldn't do that. You know what I'm talking about? Well, um, we see that you're calling him Mr. Uh, long nuts, but but uh, who is that you're speaking of? We 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 just gonna call him long nuts. Yeah, 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 man. We just we just gonna call them long nuts. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna say no name. I don't wanna uh I don't wanna disrespect nobody. Niggas be saying goof ass shit like that. I don't wanna disrespect nobody, but a nigga was just trying to throw his dick in your ass. And you wanna be respectful. Nigga, you was back there going. <laughs> hey, you hey, you niggas was back there dressed like D-Wade, man. Hey, when that nigga D-Wade Nah, I didn't I didn't watch the shit But I saw I saw a steel photo Of that nigga D-Wade When they was talking about Building him a statue and shit in Miami And I saw that photo of him accepting something He was standing there looking crazy Yeah, y'all niggas be standing back there like D-Wade Waiting to get plunged You know what I'm talking about? Hey, look, D Wade and the motherfucking uh. First of all, salute to that nigga D Wade. That's a hooping ass nigga, dog. When it come, I know I always got jokes for D Wade, but when it comes to basketball, Dwayne Wade is a top five two guard of all time, nigga. Real shit, that nigga top five shooting guard in NBA history. I swear to God. But he gotta get these jokes though. Look. Fuck, but like they gon' they gonna build him a, a a statue in Miami and shit, right? I wanna know uh what what the statue gonna have on? <laughs> like are they gon' are they gonna put that nigga man oh, oh shit are they gonna are they, are they gonna put that nigga out there in a basketball uniform or are they gonna put that nigga out there in some motherfucking Uggs and some grippers? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh shit. Dog, I'm never gonna forget that. I don't know if that's what they really call them fingernails, but a bitch was sucking my dick one time and I was like, 
what's up with them nails she said oh you don't like my gripples i was like what i thought she was making up some some shit that's what they really call them nails <laughs> is d-way gonna be standing in front of miami nigga in front of the motherfucking stadium nigga with some motherfucking uggs on and some motherfucking gripples and some goddamn uh gray contacts and a hair hat <laughs> what is the statue gonna be wearing my nigga <laughs> Oh shit! Is is Gabrielle Union gonna design that motherfucker? Please let Gabrielle Union design that motherfucker. She wear the pants and everything else. Shit, fuck it. Let her design the statue. Yeah, man, boy, nigga, nigga would have never guessed that D Wade with this weird man. I'd have never, I'd have never guessed that D Wade with this motherfucking weird. Never in a million years, man. This nigga that got with Gabrielle Union. And 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 turn to beloved. <laughs> hey, this nigga then got with Gabrielle Union, and 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 this bitch then touched him on the inside. <laughs> did, did she touch him on the inside? Oh shit, nasty work. Let me let me get up off of that, man. That's na speaking of some more nasty work, man. Let's talk about Krishan Rock. Just, just two minutes just not even two minutes we ain't gonna even get a bitch two minutes hey look i always got on here and joked about uh because i've always liked krishan i've always seen the uh the whole potential on this bitch right i always said if she got with the right motherfucker krishan rock can be bigger than cardi b she can be bigger than megan the stallion she can be bigger than Lotto can really rap, so I ain't gonna. She could be bigger than Ice Spice. Krishan Rock, if she was with the right nigga, if she had some real motherfucking game behind her, a real foundation of game to stand on, this bitch would have been out of here. And I'm talking about, I'm telling, like real shit, she'd have been way bigger than Cardi B. But I always, I always got on here and told y'all that I think she's a crack baby. Know the bitch from Baltimore. Yeah, the bitch, the bitch from the bitch from BMO now. So uh, ain't no telling what her life, her, what her, what her uh, childhood was like. I heard she had a real rough childhood, and I'm not joking when I said that. I think that she was, you know, maybe her parents was on drugs, and she might be a crack baby, right? But at this point right here, I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet money I don't have that this bitch a crack baby. Y'all seen that tattoo she got on? <laughs> This gotta be the dumbest bitch. Let me take that back. Cause, cause it's more than just being dumb. I really think she a crack baby. Real shit. I really think she a crack baby. Do you know how, do you know how, do you know how, you know how throwed off you gotta be and how all over the place your mind gotta be for you, for you to cover up a tattoo on your neck? The saint. The same fucking face tattoo that was on her neck is now on her face. And she went out her way to show us that she covered up the shit on her neck. <laughs> <laughs> bitch was talking cash money shit. Yeah, fuck this nigga. The bitch said the nigga, well, she alleged that he might be gay. All type of shit, right? Fuck this nigga. She go get a rose or, or, or some type of flower. One of them ghetto ass flower tattoo to cover up the nigga's face that was on her neck. And she had some other motherfucking tattoos like his name and i think she had some more tattoos she got all that shit covered up now she got the nigga face on her face now do i have another message for blue face yes i got a message for you blue face because as a young black man i want to see you win man i, I want to see you all right out here so I be I don't be trying to be funny all the time when I be saying this shit. I really be trying to look out for a young nigga that don't even see where he headed. Now, a lot of people, I seen some niggas on Twitter talking about some man, that nigga blue face, that nigga for real, for real, man. He got these hoes tattooing his dude. Uh, uh, he that nigga. He did, 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 did. Right now, he might be looking like that nigga. Right now, he might be looking like um 
you know, like he just got some type of game about himself. Like he just, like he got these hoes going crazy. And you know, a, you know, a couple of them might be digmatized. You know, these hoes be young and dumb and, you know, they swear that dick be the best, but it's only because they ain't really got no dick out here for real, for real. Same thing with these niggas. They swear that bitch got the best pussy in the world, but the truth is you ain't got enough pussy out here to say that. You don't know that. That's just the best pussy you done ran across, right? So I see some people thinking that Blueface is some type of mastermind, like he Hugh Heffner or something. And in all reality, he is, he's creating a Sam bitch. I know some of y'all gonna be like, what the fuck is a Sam bitch? I want y'all, I want y'all to ride with me. True story. I had a partner. Had a had a had a baby mama named Sam. Well, got a baby mama shit. I, I said that like he got a baby mama named Sam. And he used to always tell that nigga, like, that bitch right there, you could see it in her eyes. She ain't wrapped too tight. Like the bitch. I don't know if she <laughs> once again. Cause this this got a, this got to do with Krishan and Blueface. I used to look at my boy baby mama and I used to be like, and I used to be like Oh, appreciate it. I used to be like, hey, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's up with her or what her background is. But that whole crazy, that whole crazy, crazy, like for real, for real, like cut your dick off while you sleep. Stab you 50 times while you sleep. Run you over and then put that bitch in reverse and run you over again. Put it back in drive and run you over again. Crazy type bitch, right? I used to tell this nigga this shit. <laughs> he used to laugh and shit, right? So I want to say last year. I want to say last year I'm so I'm on so now y'all y'all keep up with me now because this is where Blueface might be facing. Last year I'm scrolling on Facebook and I see a picture of a bitch that looked like the bitch. At least that's what I'm thinking in my mind. I was like, damn, that bitch looked just like this nigga baby mama, right? But I just kept scrolling. I'm thinking, you know, it's just a motherfucker that looked like a motherfucker, right? So I recently just linked up with one of my partners. This was like two, three weeks, three weeks ago. I'm going to say three weeks ago, damn near a month ago, right? He stopped by a swing by the house. You know what I'm saying? We drinking crown and shit, laughing and shit. And he brought the bitch up. And he was like, yeah, man, you know Sam in the penitentiary. Up behind some shit that happened in Pasadena, Texas. Right? So allegedly... This bitch, this crazy bitch, then shot and killed her motherfucking boyfriend in broad daylight in front of the child. Or, or, or children. I, I want to say they got children. Came up to the nigga's job. Came up to the nigga's job on his lunch break. Pulled out a gun, shot him. And while the niggas was on the ground pleading for his fucking life, the bitch walked up and emptied the clip on the nigga. Now, I know y'all like, damn, T, what, what, what you going with all this shit here? I'm going back. Let me bring it back to Blueface. Because, see, at one point, I want to, and rest in, peace to you, rest in peace to that young man, but I want to, I want to, I want to say, now, I don't know. But I want to say somewhere along the line, that young man thought that he had it like that when that bitch was doing all that crazy ass dumb shit that he was asking her to do. This bitch was showing you that she fucking insane. This bitch was showing you that she out of fucking mind. This bitch is showing you that she's terrible with decisions and, that, and there's going to come a time in both of y'all lives that she's going to blame you. For all of y'all terrible decisions. Mainly hers. <laughs> you know, bitch don't take accountability for nothing. Right? I'm saying all I told that story to say that right now it looks like Blueface is that nigga. But he's creating a fucking monster. See, when that bitch look in that mirror and she and and, and, and and the bitch start asking herself shit like, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Why am I like this? Why am I doing this? 
and it all points to your fucking ass. She's not going to say that she's a dumbass. She's not going to say that she shouldn't have been doing none of that. She's going to say that you made her do it. <laughs> and like this bitch, like the Sam bitch, she's going to look at you one day and say, oh my God, you ruined my life. You have to die. For all the young men that's listening, don't be like Blueface. For all the young ladies that's listening, don't be like Krishan Rock. Don't, hey, don't do none of that dumbass shit. Young man, you're gonna find yourself dealing with a Sam bitch. You gonna one day you're gonna go from thinking that you got it like that, and you're gonna be laying on the ground begging for your goddamn life. Because this bitch just lost it on you one day. That bitch gonna look at that tattoo on her face one day. And she gonna say, "Uh -uh, uh-uh, uh-uh, this nigga gotta go. (laughs) Look at what he got me doing. (laughs) I'm telling you, man, these bitches crazy. These bitches crazy. But, But hey, another message to Blueface. Another message to Blueface, man. <laughs> Another message to Blueface. Hey, let's talk about Jess Hilarious real quick, man. Salute to Jess Hilarious for turning down that slave contract at the Breakfast Club. Let's, let, let's get back to talking about uh, idolizing celebrities and shit, right? Because I know some of y'all going to be like, I, I seen some of y'all comments. See, if y'all notice one thing about me. I like to sit back, I write some down, like a topic like this one, right? I write some down and I sit back for at least three to five business days. At least three to five business days to see what the fuck y'all be saying. When sometime when y'all be listening to my shit and y'all be like, oh my, oh man, this, this the realest shit I done heard about this topic. That's because I've been sitting back watching what y'all dumbasses was saying. <laughs> And I'll be sitting back. Ain't no way this dumbass motherfucker believe that, right? But anyway, I know some of y'all gonna sit there and be like, man, that's the Breakfast Club. She should have went and did that, man. That's Charlemagne the God, man. That's DJ Envy, man. That's the Breakfast Club, man. She should have went and did that shit, man. Hell no. Let me let me let me explain something to y'all when you a content creator out this bitch and you got your own goddamn engagement going with your people and you got your own motion out this bitch. Don't you sign no slave contract. If you a content creator, if you create if you create anything on the creative on the creative, you know, if you a creative period, rather you streaming, you doing blogging or or podcasting or making music making merch whatever whenever these big companies come to you and put a contract in your face that is a uh that is a uh a wave waiver that's what that's what i'm gonna call it a wave waiver they want you to sign this waiver to ride your wave that's what that's what they want you that's what they want you to do nigga nigga nigga, ain't no telling nigga that shit was probably a radio a radio personality 360 deal nigga they probably want to end on everything. Now, I don't know how those type of media contracts and shit work, but they probably had some shit in that motherfucker like um, like the Grammy shit, right? They probably had it to where she couldn't go talk nowhere else, not even on her own Instagram page about the Jay-Z shit. She got to talk about everything on The Breakfast Club first. She got to speak on shit on The Breakfast Club first and then go talk about it other places. Nigga, what the fuck? Now I'm not I'm not saying that was in her contract, but it little shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, man, nigga, nigga like me can't get with no shit like that. I can't even I can't even obey no shit like that. I pick up my goddamn phone, go straight to the ground. Next thing you know, I'm getting sued. Breach contract. Ah oh, shit. But salute to Jess Hilarious, nigga, for turning that shit down. I ain't want her up there no way. I know a lot of people was like, oh, she don't fit. You know, a lot of motherfuckers don't like Jess Hilarious for some, for whatever reason. You know, motherfuckers. I don't think she the funniest, but I like I just like Jess Hilarious. I think I just like looking at her for real, for real. But uh, yeah, man, salute to her for getting away from that shit, man. When you see, look, 
And this no knock to Charlemagne, but he got all them niggas in the chokehold. He he got he got another nigga in all them other niggas' pockets. Like when you be seeing that black effect, uh, the black effect uh logo on on uh drink champs and all that shit is ran by iHeartRadio. Yeah, nigg- niggas love to be like, oh man, Charlemagne a boss. No, the fuck he ain't. <laughs> These niggas not bosses. I know y'all gonna be mad when I say this, but uh, Jay-Z not a boss. It's the reason why Jay-Z say fuck the Grammys, but still gotta go to the Grammys. It's a reason why. It's a reason why when Charlemagne the God went and picked up the Drink Champs and the Big Facts podcast and the Gangster Chronicles, when he went and picked all these people up, you see the Black Effect and iHeartRadio on they shit. Yeah, man, that's iHeartRadio's do boy. And Jesse Larry said, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, nope. Nah. Nah. You niggas is not finna put me in no goddamn 360 deal. Cause that's all that shit be. All them motherfuckers in 360 deal. Four, five niggas in their pockets. That shit ain't where it's at, man. Salute to Jesse Larry's, man. Salute to Jesse Lairs, man. And another thing, too. Listen, black radio is trash. Yeah, I, I don't want to get away from this topic without saying that. Since we're talking about idolizing celebrities and all, all this shit, the radio, all this shit play a part in all that bullshit. Black radio is trash and it's depressing. It's fucking sad. It's fucking sad. All they do is sit around and, and, and promote degenerate nigga behavior. And then when somebody gets shot, they cry. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't no nigga like that. I'm, 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 I'm just not that type of nigga. You know? If, 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 if a news article came out and it said, Rapper, which which really means nigger, uh, rapper, Mr. T beats, shot dead at the red light on Juella. Don't let now person tell you that. Oh man, he ain't never fuck with nobody. That's bullshit. <laughs> he, he ain't never fuck with nobody, man. That's bullshit, man. Don't. I ain't one of them niggas, man. But see, that's what that's that, that's what black radio is, man. They they promote all the bullshit then. Nigga get killed and they, oh my god, no. Nigga, you were just smoking the ops. What the man, anyway, salute to Jesse Lairs, man. Baby, go go get you, go get on one of them white stations. Yeah, go get go get on one of them white stations, shit. Fuck all that. Where they playing, where they playing uh Taylor Swift and Molly Cyrus and shit now. Okay, take your ass over there, girl. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, check this out, man. This podcast is for all the people that knew that lady in Houston was lying about being hit in the face with a fucking brick. Come on, come on. Y'all really be buying this shit? Y'all, man, y'all really be going for this shit on the internet. Y'all really be, y'all, y'all really be letting motherfuckers put cameras in front of them, man. They sit down, tell y'all everything, don't they? They can just tell y'all anything. Man, fuck it, man. Hey, hit the cash out, family. Hit the PayPal. Fuck it, man. Y'all got money and shit for all these other lying ass, uh, 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 lame ass niggas, man. Give me some fucking money, nigga. Fuck that. Y'all really be going for this shit that they people be telling y'all? Y'all done gave this bitch 40 bands, man. Y'all done gave this bitch 40 bands? Man, y'all, y'all, man, let me get two. Let me get 2000 I don't even need the whole fort. I just need 2000 I just need to get over on this month. You know what I'm talking about? And man. Y'all really let this bitch tell y'all she got hit in the face with a brick. For real. For real. Another true story. I got a cousin named Thomas Adams. Shreveport's finest. I got a cousin named Thomas Adams. That nigga 
got hit in the face with a motherfucking break. Okay? That nigga got hit in the face in the exact same spot where she got hit in the face with a brick. Well, where she allegedly got hit in the face with a brick. My cousin Thomas got hit in the face with a goddamn brick. A nigga from... <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't funny. But a nigga from New Orleans... <laughs> allegedly, a nigga from New Orleans back when Hurricane Katrina and shit happened... This is this is like a few years after Hurricane Katrina. And uh allegedly he got hit in the face with a motherfucking brick over a lawn over a lawnmower by some New Orleans nigga. Allegedly. I don't know exactly what happened, but all I do know is that the next time I saw him, he had a fucking big ass scar on the side of his face and a glass eye, nigga. He he popped that bitch out on my ass. I was like, oh, come on, son. I never forget that shit. It was on. We was on that West Side City Grove. I never forget that shit. That nigga came over there walking in there. <laughs> that nigga walked in the gate. Tell my man, what's up, man? I was like, dude, what the fuck happened to you? He was like, oh yeah, that nigga popped the aisle. Tell me, yeah, I got hit in the face with a brick. I said, oh shit. Now I'm saying that to say this. Y'all believe anything on the internet? This bitch got on camera with a swollen face. Her shit just swollen. No blood nowhere. No blood nowhere. And y'all, y'all let her tell y'all that she got hit in the face with a brick. No blood nowhere. She ain't got no stitches, no staples. You know what I'm talking about? Uh do y'all do y'all do y'all know that that brick would have broke all that that eye bone right? See that bone right there? That bone right there? That shit is very uh is very uh fragile and delicate. Let me, let me say that. Compared to the rest of the bones in the fucking face, right? If that brick would have hit her right there on that goddamn eye bone right there, her fucking eye would have came. Man, I'm telling y'all, son. Anybody from Shreveport, Louisiana, I got a cousin named Thomas Adams got hit in the eye with a motherfucking brick, nigga. Ask them what Thomas looked like. Still to this day, nigga. That scar still there, that eye still glass, nigga. For all you dusty ass bitches that was out there talking shit. Why black men ain't saying nothing? Black men ain't saying nothing. Black men don't give a fuck about us. We're the most. What they say? What they, what, what these bitches be saying? We're the most disrespected and unprotected on the planet. Uh, uh, nobody protecting us. Nobody bitch we were what, what the bitch don't understand was we was protecting your stupid ass by not saying nothing because we ain't fucking dumb <laughs> bitch if we would have came out and gave our real motherfucking opinions on that shit all like one motherfucking time bitch your ass would have been in jail if all us black men were common sense would have came out and said bitch why you ain't bleeding you'd have been in jail so, bitch, we was helping your ass by not saying nothing. But no, all these mother... See, that's one, see, that's one thing. And y'all know me. I don't really like to do the... Uh, you know, to me, a bitch is a bitch, right? I don't really like to put the black thing with the white thing and this and that and all that shit. But let me say this, man. That's one thing about that black bitch. That's one thing about that black bitch. That black bitch gonna play that goddamn role. That black bitch gonna be hurt. Don't get me wrong. The white bitch, the white bitch, you know, all bitches play that victim shit. But see, the white bitch gonna cry. She, the white bitch got five tears before she get on some straight gangster shit and ruin your life. See what I'm saying? The, yeah, you know, the, the black bitch fuck up your day. The Hispanic bitch fuck up your week. But the black, that, that, that white bitch fuck around, get on some gangster shit and ruin your life. See what I'm saying? But see, back to what I was saying. That black bitch, she always gonna play that victim role and she always gonna be hurt. And the only way that shit work is when they put that shit off on the black man. That's listen, that shit would have that shit would have wouldn't have got no traction. L listen, if that bitch that claimed to got hit with that brick, if she have came out and tried to do white men the way she the way she put that shit on black men, if she'd have tried that shit with white men, she'd have been in jail. 
And see, this what I be saying. This what I be saying about y'all black men out here, y'all sucker ass motherfucking niggas, man. You wanna know why that bitch would have been in jail? She'd have tried that with them white boys, cause they'd have came on one accord and be like, "Hold on, bitch. We were letting you. We we was letting you cook, bitch. But goddamn it, what you're not gonna do? <laughs> you're not gonna put this here on us. They'd have came on one accord and got that bitch out of there. But no, what we do as black men, we sat back. And not all of us, but I'm saying the white boy gonna move as one. We didn't move as one. We let we let this little bitch over here talk. This little bitch over here talk. This little bitch over here talk. When in our reality, we all should have scheduled our phones to 4 p.m. And at 4 p.m. slap all these bitches at the same time. One big slap across the motherfucking world. Wake your dumb ass up, bitch. Look at this bitch. She ain't get hit with no damn brick. The fuck? Matter of fact, that's what we should have did. We should have hit these holes. We should have hit all these holes upside the heads with bricks. All at the same time. And showed the bitch. Now look at your motherfucking face and look at hers. Who got hit with a brick for real? Stupid ass bitch. Y'all owe us an apology. I want the bitch arrested. I want her to do prison time. Don't send a bitch to the city. Don't send a bitch to the parish or the county, whatever y'all call it where you from. I need the bitch in the penitentiary, the state penitentiary. Fuck you, me. And she'll tell her. Bitch ain't even from here, old Somalian bitch. Y'all let old, that's a, man, look, y'all let anybody separate us as black people. And I'm talking about black Americans right now. Y'all let anybody separate us. Old bitch from Somalia that been doing this. She been scamming. Y'all done let this bitch come into our community and divide us up. She don't give a fuck about the black woman or the black man. Ask her what she is. She gonna say Somalia. But no, y'all niggas love to get on the internet and just go with any fucking thing that got some traction. Anything that got some type of clout, y'all going with it. You bitches owe us, you bitches owe us an apology. And I want it. I want it. Oh, tell the ass bitch, man. Speaking of tellers and shit, right? What's up with plies and these immigrants? Listen, plies. I fuck with you, my nigga. I think you a funny nigga. Your music, your music hasn't been good since. Well, ran off on the plug twice of the eye. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really fuck with Cuz music like that. That first album, that was it. But um, Ply's a funny ass nigga though. But I don't know what um, I don't know what his music career looking like. What 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 new lanes he trying to get into? I, I think that the nigga might be trying to run for mayor or something or, or I think the nigga trying to get into politics or something because you can't tell me this nigga don't work for the Democrats right now nigga hey man I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what plies got up his sleeve I don't know what plies working on behind the scenes and shit but nigga he working hard that nigga working hard ain't nobody in America caping for motherfucking immigrants like Plies right now. Man, that nigga Ply, that nigga Plies must got a new house layout, nigga, and he want all immigrants to come help him build that bitch. He that nigga that, that nigga Plies trying to get him a 10,000 foot square house built for $30. <laughs> hey. That, hey, that nigga Plies trying to get his grass cut every week for $100 a year. Some motherfucking Cubans then wash the shit out his car and cut his grass, nigga. He can't forget about it, nigga. I don't know what it is, Plies. But I hope you get it. <laughs> hey, I don't know. I don't know who buying your music. Maybe it's the immigrants. Maybe it's Hispanics. Maybe, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what you're working on right now. But I hope you get it, my nigga. You working hard. You working hard, man. You working hard. I don't know if the Democrats breaking them off a little paper. But you working hard, nigga. You working hard. 
But listen, never listen to these celebrities. <laughs> All of them compromise. All the celebrities compromise, man. Uh, listen, if y'all don't believe me, ask yourself this question. Why is Jay-Z saying fuck the Grammys, but he's at the Grammys? Keep it real. Come on now. Use your fucking brain. Come on, my nigga. I'm talking to niggas right now. I'm, ta I'm talking to I'm talking to niggas right now. I'm talking to a nigga that ain't been to his goddamn grandma house in 13 years. Because the wrong cousin them. As long as that motherfucker up in here, I ain't <laughs> as long as this motherfucker up in here, I ain't gonna be in here. I'm talking to niggas like that. Nigga. I'm listen, I'm talking about niggas that got a pocket full of money, but you gonna steal this CarMax when you go in here. Alright, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing, but <laughs> that's the type of nigga I am though. That's <laughs> That's that's me. But now nah, for real though. Fuck the Grammys, but you at the Grammys, my nigga. You can't tell me these people ain't compromised, man. Why why? Why we listening to these people? Why we listening to these people? Another motherfucker. Y'all finna be like, oh man, another motherfucker. I ain't trying to hear that shit right now. Dave Chappelle, I ain't trying to hear that shit, nigga. Now we know. Now we know that uh, I already told y'all I ain't watched the whole Cat Williams interview with uh, Shannon Sharp. I ain't watched the whole thing, but I did see some of them clips, my nigga, and he was giving it up. Some shit I agree with. Some shit I didn't. You know what I'm saying? But then you got Dave Chappelle, and, so, and so salute to Corey Holcomb for keeping it a fox a million. Corey Holcomb came out and said the, the shit that I've been thinking. Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle been bombing for the last few years, man. Dave Chappelle ain't been funny for real in like a couple years, man. And when I say funny, I mean the whole special. He, you know, he, he might have an hour special and a little splash here, a little splash there. I'm talking about a whole hour of straight funny. We ain't got that from Dave in a minute, man. Let's keep it real. So for this nigga, I don't know. I just think, this is what I think. I don't know shit. I just think him coming out and saying something to Cat Williams. Him saying something to Cat Williams about what Cat Williams did in his interview. That was some nasty work. That was some nasty motherfucking work. The nigga talking about some, yeah. Uh, you came out here and you said everything about who you said it about. But it was all black people. Well, Dave, don't, 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 don't try to, don't try to, don't try to bring us in with that blackity black shit. See, one, hey, y'all might think I'm fucked up for this, but once I see a motherfucker get on some blackity black shit, I know they finna try to pull one over on a nigga. Once they get on the blackity black shit, oh, my brother, y'all know I don't let people call me a uh, brother and all that shit. I think I think here come here comes some rig, nigga. Once you get on that blackity black shit, here comes some rig. You know what I'm saying? So check this out. When that nigga came out and was like, "Oh yeah, you everything you said was about black people." Well, Dave, um, you still ain't told us who them weird ass white people was at, at Comedy Central that wanted you to do some weird shit. You still ain't said they name. How long it's been and you ain't now, now listen if i'm wrong and he has and i don't mean calling out the network i mean saying a motherfucker's name they first and last motherfucking name they government name the name that they mama gave them why y'all don't be saying these people names see man I'm, man see that that's why that's why uh you you run across certain motherfuckers and then my name come up nigga and they 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 talk the way they talk. Cause Mr. T say your motherfucking name. I, I don't respect the shit that these niggas be on. I don't, I ain't respect that shit that Dave Chappelle did. 
you know what I'm saying? You call yourself calling out Cat Williams. You still ain't told us who them white people was that, that was offering you some motherfucking weird shit. They wanted you to do this weird shit and you had to walk away and all that. Salute to you for walking away. But you should have said their name. You should have put them on blast because they tried to make you look crazy. But now, nah, you know, mu these, these motherfuckers come out and try to make y'all look crazy and shit. You want to be respectful to them. But a nigga ain't saying shit about you. And you want to go off on a nigga. Yeah, you ain't no different. So miss me with that blackity black shit. And for anybody that walk up to me this month talking about happy black history month, eat a dick, bitch. I'm black every motherfucking day. This shit lit every day. Come up to me for 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 a select 28 days. Talking about man, bitch, you don't get your see, they got y'all. They got y'all thinking that they got y'all thinking that your blackness is so special for a select 28 days of the year. Yeah, we know you're black every day. You know, we know you're black every day and you you're dealing with the struggles of being black in America every day. But listen, for these 28 days, oh, for these 28 days, <laughs> the fuck out of here. And one of you niggas come up to my black happy black history month, I'm gonna tell you to eat a dick. Suck ass, nigga. They ain't got me, they got you. Yeah, man. Listen, man. That shit. That shit. Dave Chappelle did was motherfucking nasty work, man. Nasty work. Nicki Minaj versus Megan Thee Stallion. Why is this a thing? Why? Why? Why is this a thing? I I got a message to Nicki Minaj. Baby, you look foolish. Baby, you look stupid. Okay, and now I used to I used to always give Kenny his props. I used to say, man, that nigga Kenny over there holding it down. I don't know now. Say Kenny. Kenny. Kill that shit, man. That shit is not looking pimpish, Kenny. No, -uh. don't be don't be letting Nicky go out like that. For Nicky to be sitting up here and talk about numbers and these bitches is her sons and um. She always talk about how better she is than the rest of these bitches, but you arguing with them. Now I, I think I think Nikki the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to female rap, I don't think none of these bitches can fuck with Nikki. I, only only bitch I put a, a, above Nicki Minaj is uh Missy Elliott. Yeah, it's Missy Elliott then 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 then, then, then uh Nikki. So when I when I looked up and I saw that she was she was going back and forth with Megan the Stallion with a bitch that can't do nothing but shake her ass. Man, listen, no cap, y'all. Whenever I click on if I'm on Instagram and I see Megan the Stallion uh sitting there looking good because the bitch be looking good. If I see her and I click on that video, I turn the volume down. I don't even want to hear this bitch talk. I don't even want to hear her voice. Yeah, baby, just shake that ass. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, just <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, baby, just shake that ass. Speaking of shaking that ass, um, damn, what's the whole name? I just had it. I just that nigga party new girlfriend. What's that whole Jada Kingdom? Yeah. I hope she ain't no rapper. I just want to see them hoes shake their ass. They should have a twerking contest, but rapping? Oh, Get the fuck out of here, Nikki. Why you arguing with her? You look foolish. You look stupid. You out here trying to pop your ass and you shaking your ass. Baby, let me tell you this. As far as you shaking your ass and putting that old, uh, that, 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 that science experiment ass booty in everybody facing, that shit over with, Nikki. Listen, I'm telling you this because I fuck with you. I'm telling you this because I fuck with you. And that nigga Kenny is slipping on his pimping over there. Man, you got your, hey man, you got your 304 looking crazy, man. I say, man, the whole look crazy, man. The whole look crazy. This hoe is all on the motherfucking blade with headphones on and shit. She high. 
out that bitch just waving the calls away. Got four niggas in line. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, baby, what's up? She just got her headphones on and shit singing. Waving the fucking calls away. Bitch can't even make no goddamn money because she out here bullshitting with these bitches. You slipping. Bitch ain't supposed to be arguing with no motherfucking Megan Thee Stallion about nothing. And Ice Spice, um, don't make another diss record about Lotto. Yeah, Lotto gonna be here for a while. Your ass is, I, as soon as you stop shaking your motherfucking ass, Ice Spice, as soon as you stop shaking your ass, you out of here. I don't know why you dissing, um, Lotto. But Lotto can really rap And Lotto's actually attractive That's right I said it Lotto is actually attractive Most of you motherfuckers that's running up behind Ice Spice You don't even know that you have some type of weird fetish (laughs) You don't even know that you really want to fuck the little Chucky doll You really want to fuck a little Chucky doll you know you niggas fuck anything with some ass on it. Yeah, you niggas find a little Chucky doll with some ass on it, you'll be fucking that motherfucker. You niggas really won't fuck little Chucky from the Rugrats. That's that, that's all that is. I told you niggas when I Spice first when I Spice first came out, nigga, that's some mid. That ain't even no mid, nigga. That's 3.2 grams of Reggie Bullock, nigga. She digging her own grave. Like, baby, listen, don't be trying to rap against nobody. Just go on stage with your one with your one song and shake your ass. That, that's what you do. That's what they got you here for. Because it's only a matter of time for Nikki dissing your ass, too. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. But hey, I've been in here long enough. Uh, See you niggas Sunday, man. And remember, the life that you save will be on.